Let's learn about the difference between imperative code and declarative code. Imperative code generally describes the uh, control flow in a lot more detail. Uh, it's usually more verbose than declarative code. Whereas declarative code, uh, it generally expresses logic. It'll, it'll sort of um, make more sense in, in terms of um, how you might describe how the program works to someone in, in real life. Uh, and it, it sort of abstracts away the control flow. So usually you'll use some sort of function or method that sounds like what you want it to do, but it's not necessarily obvious what's going on under the hood. So to drive this point home, let's go ahead and just create uh, some identical functionality using both imperative and declarative methods. So first I'm going to create an imperative uh, function that essentially will take an array as its argument and filter out any numbers that, or sorry, retain any numbers that are less than the number 10. So let's create a function and we'll assign it to a variable called less than 10 filter. And again, it'll take array as an argument, and we're just going to use arrow functions here. Uh, so for control flow, I'm going to kind of manually iterate over the array. So we're going to have a less than 10 array that starts out as empty. And this we're going to end up putting uh, our less than 10 items in there. And then so we're going to iterate through our array. So we'll just do a for loop. For i equals 0, i is less than the length of the array. And then we'll increment i. Uh, so if our ith element of the array is less than 10, we will put it into our less than 10 array. So we'll say less than 10 array push uh, array item i. And after we've iterated through everything, what we're going to do is just return our less than 10 array. And great, so to make sure that this actually works, let's just go ahead and uh, create an array here. And we'll say it has values 1, 2, 7, 11, and 24, or 25. And earlier on, let's just go ahead and put the number uh, 30 in here. Great, and so this will be our test array. And so we'll just console log uh, less than 10 filter and pass the array to it. So if we run this, uh, yeah, great. So we find that only 1, 2, and 7 are in uh, our array that are less than 10. So that's great. Uh, and so this is very imperative because we're describing exactly what happens. Uh, there's no mystery to this code, uh, but it is uh, fairly verbose. So let's see if we can accomplish the exact same thing uh, using a more declarative uh, method here. So again, we'll create a const uh, less than 10 filter. And what I'll do just to make sure we don't have uh, our code blow up here is I'll comment out all this code up here. Um, and so this will again equal an arrow function. And so what I'm gonna do is use our built-in uh, array prototype filter method and then for each item, I'm going to say basically if that item is less than 10, we will retain it. Uh, and so I think that'll actually be it. And so we can test this out by once again uh, using it on the same array of items, uh, elements, and we should basically end up with one, two, or seven again. So let's give this a shot. Yeah, and so we end up with one, two, or seven. So we can see here, um, that we're using a more declarative uh, way of writing our function because we're basically saying, yeah, go ahead and filter our array uh, based on this criteria. We don't actually know what's going on under the hood necessarily of this filter method, uh, which is, you know, you could consider that um, good or bad, but this is just a more declarative way of doing it. So uh, again, hopefully that drives home the point that imperative is uh, a lot more descriptive of the control flow and declarative expresses the logic and kind of abstracts away the control flow.